certainly wasn't easy early, but uh, you guys hung in there and then really turned the tide in the second half. Let's start with that first half. How frustrating were things for you, and uh, what did you have to do to overcome that? Um, it was pretty frustrating. Um, our coach just told us that we needed to pick it up. We were kind of playing like we were a little bit off it, but we just needed to get, like, fundamentally get things back together and start playing. It's a rivalry, though. It's, you know, Belvin and Blaris, and both teams want to win, and you, know, you throw a whole season, and, you know, the loser has to call it in the season. Some kids have a career. How did that factor into it, and, and how did that help the intensity, especially for someone like you? It was definitely in the back of my mind the whole game. Like, even when we were down, I was thinking, I don't want this to be my last game. We have to keep fighting and keep, keep working hard until the end. Now, last time I saw you against Marshall, you were popping threes in left and right. Tonight, real hard against that closeout defense from Bevel. You got one early, you hunted the shot, but it just wasn't there. And what do you do in that situation, Courtney, and, and how did you try to adjust? Um, I just know we've got other shooters on the team, so I just look for Sierra a lot, and I know that I can attack the basket too, so I just got to keep playing my game and even the three-point shots out there. I have to keep playing. You mentioned you fell behind 20 to 10 at one point. And I suppose I don't think anybody that's playing the game of basketball really stares at the score for too long, and especially when, you, when that score is double. Uh, I'm sure you're not looking at it that long. You're trying to correct it, and you guys did. What did you have to do, did you think, to get from 2010? I think it was like 21 17 at the half. Yeah, I think we were just uh, looking for the fast break more. We were getting a long outlet pass, and we were trying to just finish up the basket from the fast break. And then Belleville went gold in the second half. You guys adjusted things defensively. I want to tell our listeners a little bit about what you did defensively and, and, and where you thought it worked the best. Um, we did a little bit of a 1 3 1 full court, and I think we were like getting them frazzled a little bit, and we were getting some steals off that. And we is that something that you don't do very often, and is it something you could do more of? Is it just one of those things where the situation really dictated? Um, I think it was uh, just the situation tonight. We haven't really done that much, but we do practice it every once in a while, so we knew what we were doing. But it's probably, I think it's probably the first time we've done it in the game so far this year. And then free throws were key down the stretch. I know you didn't make them all, and I know there was a bunch there that you're probably going to have to run some uh, some lines for there down at, at tomorrow at practice. But uh, you made enough to make the one possession game a two and a two a three. Um, talk a little bit about the, the situation there where you know, maybe it's not the you know, clinic at the free throw line, but you obviously recognize the situation that you thought Mandy Sargent's two really kind of see the deal. Yeah, I struggled with the free throw line tonight, but I just went up with confidence and finally I made one, and then Mandy went over to the end. And now you move on for a game against Cuba City, the top seed, a highly ranked, um, you know, many, many trips to the state tournament, a program that I think a lot of programs would like to be, you know, one day, and if you guys get a chance to see where you stack up against them, as you look forward to that game, Courtney, what are your thoughts? Is this a great opportunity to, to kind of test yourself against the best? Yeah, we're excited. I mean, we've got nothing to lose, so we're just going to go out there and play our hardest. Well, hey, Courtney, you get practice tomorrow, too. That's yep. a <laughs> Well, Courtney Fell, our guest here on the